Hello, hello, hello. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I know I am. Um, I'm getting ready to run some errands here in a little bit. But I wanted to speak and share with you guys something that, um, that I had read and I just felt that it was interesting. Because we are going into 2020 in 18 days, you guys. We are getting ready to start a new decade. And when we go into 2020, we want what? We want 2020 vision. Amen. We want to be fully focused, fully energized. We want to let everything go from the past decade. And we want to go into this decade. And I've been calling this decade. It's going to be the decade of redemption for all of us. Amen. So with that said, I have a message this morning, and it's from the book of Luke, Luke chapter 8, verse 49 through 55. And the Bible says, while he was still speaking to her, a messenger arrived from the home of Jairus, the leader of the synagogue. He told him, your daughter is dead. And that's not a nice message to have, but you know, it's, it's, it's just sad. But anyways, he tells him, your daughter is dead. There's no use in troubling the teacher. But when Jesus heard what had happened, he said to Jairus, don't be afraid. Just have faith and she will be healed. Amen. When they arrived at the house, Jesus wouldn't let anyone go in except for him, Peter, John, James, and the little girl's father and mother. The house was filled with people weeping and wailing. But he said, stop weeping. She isn't dead. She's only asleep. But the crowd laughed at him because they all knew she had died. Then Jesus took her by the hand and said in a loud voice, get up, my child, get up. And at that moment, her life returned. And she immediately stood up and Jesus told them to go give her a Big Mac. I'm just joking. No, they said Jesus just told them to give her something to eat. So today's message, because when I was reading this, I was like, you know what? She's only asleep. She's not dead. And so many people were believing that this child had died. And so my question is, how many people believe that you're dead not necessarily physically they some people maybe haven't heard from you in a while and maybe they're like oh is so and so dead I haven't heard from her I haven't heard from him or how many people feel that you are dead spiritually now the devil wants you and everyone to to just feel like you're not worthy that you're dead inside he wants your friends he wants your friends just to to think that you no longer care about them that you want to be away from your friends you want to stop calling them and communicating with them for whatever reason he doesn't want you to make amends with your friends he doesn't want you to have joy in your heart maybe he he wants your family members to think that you're dead because You've been drinking so much lately because you've been depressed and having anxiety and or maybe you started using drugs and your family just thinks that you're a lost cause and they've lost hope in you. Maybe your boss at work and your co-workers feel that you are dead because you come to work, you never smile, you're always complaining or maybe you're always the one that's making excuses or, or thinking that everybody is out to get you and I have good news to tell you I have really good news to tell you you're not dead you're not dead amen you are only sleeping only sleeping and so we have a God an amazing God a God of impossibilities amen so with that said you need to know that that you're not dead when you are not dead, God can still use you. God can still heal you from that sickness and disease and that addiction. God can still transform you and change your heart and change your mind. Because we have 18 days left, you guys. 18 days left until the end of this year, the end of a decade. And we are starting 2020 with what? 
2020 vision. Amen. We got to keep that positive attitude. We got to jump on this train. We got to shed everything out of our lives that is making us dead inside. That depression, that anxiety, that anger, that bitterness, that stuff that you're holding in your heart. We need to let it go. We need to shift it out. Amen. And so what I want you to do, I want you to start recognizing what the issues are. What is making you sad? What is making you nervous? What is making you feel dead inside? What is making your friends and family members think that you are dead? Because I want you to tell yourself, I'm not dead. I'm just sleeping. And God is going to wake me up. God's going to wake me up and he's going to stir a fire and an anointing inside me. And I'm going to be shedding. I'm going to be shifting and shedding all the negativity out of my heart. All the bitterness, the anger. I'm going to lose the weight. I'm going to, I'm going to just put joy back in my heart. I'm going to just stay away from some friends or family members that are trying to get me to drink and, and do drugs and go party every night or on the weekends and make me not wake up for work or make me not take care of my kids and my responsibilities and the duties that I need as a man or a woman. Listen, we got 18 days left, you guys. Start taking accountability. Start making a shift and a change in your life because I know you can do it. You are worthy. God matters to you. I know, I know he matters to you. I know he believes you believe in your heart that God matters. And I know that you have this desire for a change, but you just don't know how to change. Well, guess what? Right now it's time to change. You're waking up. God is touching your life. God is going to listen to you and hear you cry out for him, but you need to put in the work. Amen. So I need you to just recognize what is making you feel alone what is making you feel like you have to just stay in that bad relationship that that person that constantly talks about you cheats on you or maybe doesn't support you in your dreams maybe your fear your anxiety of leaving the relationship because you don't want to be alone listen there's nothing wrong with being alone. Sometimes you need to realize the person that you were before the relationship so that you can get that fire and desire back in your heart and God will guide you. Just pray to Him, call out to Him and prophesy over your life, positivity, good things. We have 18 days, you guys, the end of 2019. We're starting the new decade off. We're starting it off strong. We're starting it off right. That sickness and disease, those financial issues that you have, whatever it may be, just realize you're not dead. You still have blood and going through your veins. You still have life in you. You're just sleeping. So wake up. Wake up. God is going to stir a fire and desire in you. You guys, I hope this was a, a little message that you all could take to heart. Remember, you have 18 days left. It's 2020, like right around the corner. And so just realize that if God can bring this little girl back to life, that everyone around her, even her, some close relatives thought that she was dead. Just know that God's not giving up on you. Don't give up on yourself. You're still alive. You're just sleeping. So wake up. Transform yourself. Cleanse your heart. Purify everything and move forward. It's not too late. It's never too late. What the problem is, could be, is you are afraid to take the steps because you feel like you're going to fail. Because so many, so many people have told you that you're going to fail. So many people have doubted you and gave up on you because they thought you were dead. But you are alive. You're worthy. You matter. God loves you. And just never give up. Keep pressing forward. 18 days left, you guys. All right. Have a good day. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for watching the video. And if you can, go ahead and click the subscribe button. It's either over here down here or over here and hit that notification bell so that you can be one of the people the very first people to get notified when a video is uploaded 
We do this out of our hearts because we love God. We want to share what we learn when we meditate and pray and also the things that are being taught to us from our pastors as well and our mentors. And may you continue to be a part of our family. Continue to like, subscribe, share these videos as much as you can with your friends and family so that we can share God's word and bless the kingdom of God. Amen. Continue to join us on our journey as you inspire us and we are inspired by the man above. Amen. May he continue to transform us and transform you. We love you. Thank you so much. God bless.